Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, we'll be looking at the delay effect inside of Native Instruments Tractor Pro 2. The delay effect records a sample of the playing track or audio and then plays that sample back after a period of time. Knob 1 is a bandpass filter which cuts out high and low frequencies around a specific frequency. With Knob 1 all the way to the left, there's actually going to be no filter applied to the sound. So if you don't want any filtering of the sound, you're going to want to leave it all the way to the left. As you move the knob to the right, you're going to activate the filter and then change which frequency you're selecting with the bandpass filter. Here's an example of how rotating the filter knob will change the sound of the delay. Knob number two controls the amount of feedback applied to the sound. With the knob all the way to the left, very little feedback will be applied. And as you move it to the right, you're going to increase the amount of feedback up to its maximum all the way to the right. Let's take a quick listen to hear how the amount of feedback can change the sound that the delay effect adds to your track. Knob number three controls the delay time. That is the time between when the sound is recorded to when the sound is played back. There are seven different values that are distributed over the length of the knob, and all of the values are fractions of musical bars. Let's take a quick listen to how the delay time will affect how the delay changes the sound of your track. Moving below the knobs, we have the buttons. Button 1 is the reset button. This will reset the effects controls to their defaults or how you have them saved using Tractor's Effect Snapshot feature. You can learn more about effect snapshots by watching our video on them linked in the video description below. Button 2 is the freeze button. This button stops the delay effect from sampling new audio as the track continues to play. It also sets the feedback to its highest setting when enabled. The freeze button and the filter knob have an interesting connection. With the filter knob all the way to the left, you can create an endless feedback loop when you enable the freeze button. You can even stop the track from playing, and that sampled loop will keep playing. Let me show you an example of how this works. Too soon to act on it, can we? The last button, labeled SPR, stands for Stereo Spread. By pressing this button, you create a stereo sound effect by offsetting the timing of the delay on the left and right audio channels. Now let's take a listen to an example of the delay with the stereo spread off and then the stereo spread turned on. Now that we've gone over the controls of the delay effect, let's listen to two practical examples of how you can use it. 
This first example is going to be how you can use the freeze function to end a track. You're going to press the freeze button and then move the filter and rate knob from left to right. Let's take a look at how that works. In this next example, we're going to be looking at how you can use the delay effect to enhance the buildups of the tracks that you're playing. To do that, we're going to start playing the track and then turn the effect on. Afterwards, we're going to increase the dry wet and adjust the effect controls. You should now have all the tools that you need to use the delay effect in your mixes. If you want to check out other Tractor Pro 2 tutorials, including other effect tutorials, be sure to check out the other videos on our channel and subscribe to get notified when new videos are posted. Also, be sure to check out the links in the video description to learn how you can connect with the DJ Podcast and help support us in creating new video tutorials. Thanks for watching.